got John Gutch of Hive, and we're going to learn about HiveLink today. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm doing great. Brilliant. So tell us about Hive and HiveLink. Yeah, no worries. So um, HiveLink is our new uh, smart service. What it does is it provides peace of mind for families um, to look after loved ones. So often people like this are called carers or carees, um, but when we speak to people, they actually don't consider themselves to be carers. You know, they're like a casual carer. So they look after mum or they look after dad, and it's those, those people that are making that phone call in the morning. So, you know, is mum up? Is she up and okay? Has she opened the fridge? Has she made a coffee? So what we provide, our smart service, is we, put, we bundle some products together. We bundle our smart plugs, our smart motion sensors, and smart contact sensors that can be used on windows or doors together. They're professionally installed within the home, so it's a really personal service. And what we do is we provide the carer with a really simple to use intuitive app. And that app will show what's going on inside mum or dad, the loved one's home. So it provides a summary view of everything that's going on. Um, it will also provide a notification if something happens that's not quite right or something out of the ordinary. So what the, what the kit inside the home does is it starts to learn about the patterns and the, and the routines. And if anything happens outside of the normal routine, we'll send a notification to the carer to try and, and then move on and deal like, with. Hey, mom hasn't gotten up yet. Yeah, for example. She's usually up by about 8, 8.30. Well, she's still in bed. Exactly. Well, what will happen is the notification will come through to the, to the carer. It will say, you know, mum hasn't got up yet, there's been no motion or no activity in the home. And then through the app, you can then decide what you want to do about that notification. So if I show you now on the app, if you want to come in and see. I'm going to pull that off there. This is a summary view of what's going on in, let's say, mum's home right now. It's actually Elvin's home. But we can see here a, a view of where all the products are installed. So, for example, there's motion in the hallway. Um, the kitchen, again, there's motion or the fridge has been opened. That will put together a kind of pattern to say that, you know, mum's been up, she's gone into the kitchen, she's opened the fridge, she's making her coffee. We see a timeline of events, all in order, of when they happen during the day. And if anything happens or, or is detected out of the ordinary, as I said before, we can see here that this is showing us there's been no activity. So, like you said earlier on, you know, mum's normally up by 8 a.m., there's been no activity, a notification will come through. Now what we've also introduced is something that we call Hive Circles and this is all about, sh all about sharing the caring. So quite often people who look after a loved one are not the only member of the family that do so. Right, it's right. often shared between brothers or sisters or even neighbours for example. So you can create what we call Hive Circles. Right at the centre of the circle is the loved one and the first ring will be the carer. So this is the person who has the app, has access to all of the detail and summary of what's going on inside the home. And if they can't deal with a notification when it comes through, it will go to the outer circle. So that oh, outer, oh, neat. So that outer circle could be a neighbour. And for example, you might not want a neighbour to have full access to the app. Sure, But yeah. what you might want the neighbour to do is receive a notification if, let's say, the front door's been left open for a prolonged period of time. So they can just pop their head in the door to make sure everything's hey, all Hey, Sally, okay. what's up? <laughs> exactly, exactly that. Oh, interesting. So, so would it solve this problem? A friend of mine, her uh, father slipped in the bathroom in the middle of the night. His, his wife found him, but she didn't want to bother anybody. So yep. she made him lay on the floor in the bathroom till 8 in the morning when it was a convenient time to make a phone call. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure that's the advice we'd be giving, to be honest. No, but exactly. What, but, but, but would you have no, you might have a way of knowing that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if we've got motion sensors, so these motion sensors are cleverly placed around the home. As I said before, they'll be installed by a, a fully trained expert in that area. Um, to come and put them in the right places. In, and in, again, in places that suit both the carer and the caree. Yeah, the that's a tricky bit. Hey, mom, I'm putting cameras and sensors yeah, all so over your house. How do you talk them into that? So absolutely, the, this is designed to be non-invasive. Yeah, it's hidden. It's things that are not in the in the carey carey's face. We're not trying to put a home help bus around someone's neck. You know, they don't want that. We've spoken right. to, to lots of customers who are not interested in that kind of that kind of uh, product. What we do is we put things in, you know, plugs, we've got motion sensors and contact sensors, which allows the, the, the carry or the loved one to continue with their usual routines. Nothing changes. We're not You get to live at home. Absolutely. You get to live at home for longer. Nothing changes in your normal day-to-day -day life. That's really, really interesting. Uh, is, uh, where would we find more about Hive and HiveLink? So you can find us on our website, hivehome.com, uh, here in the US. Uh, we're also obviously available in Canada and the UK at the moment as well. Um, so HiveLink isn't available yet in the US uh, due to launching H2 this year. Um, it's available in the UK right now. We launched uh, just before Christmas. Very good. Thank you very much. This no is problem. interesting. This is solving a problem of 
we want to stay at home a lot longer. We don't want to be shipped off to the home. Yeah, look, ab absolutely. And this is this is what we're all about at Hive. You know, we, we're trying to solve real customer problems. We're always talking to our customers. We make sure that we keep really close to them so we're, you know, solving real problems that, that matter the most. That's good work, good work. Thank you very much. No problem.